Welcome back to another episode of Sneaker Battle. I am your host, Tony Mui, and today we have the NFL in the building. In one corner, he's a defensive tackle for the Miami Dolphins. 300 plus pounds of pure power. Number 56, Devon Gaja is here to battle. And in the other corner, he is a Super Bowl champion, cornerback for the Philadelphia Eagles. What's a goon to a goblin? Jalen Mills, AKA the Green Goblin is in a battle. And of course, back like the last name on a jersey, the priceless Poppy. My guy Jose is here to provide secondary market prices to give the viewers some insight on how these sneakers are either appreciated or depreciated over time. Tony. The priceless poppy? Yeah. I can't. I'm in the kill switch on this conversation. Oh, we'll be right back. AJ, cut to the intro. Gentlemen, it's a defense on defense today, okay? Both of you guys play on the same side of the ball. However, Devon, you're representing the big dudes in the league. Do you feel like this is a statement battle? I definitely get like a statement because I think, you know, a lot of small guys think just because they're small, they got swag. And I'm here to tell you, a lot of them don't. Ah. So, you know, I mean, uh, I'm excited. You know, I mean, I know my guy Jalen has swag, but, you know, a lot of guys think, you know, they can swag because they wear you know, a lot of designer stuff. But to me, like, designer don't bring you swag. I mean, I mean, just, to me, just you have the fear of confidence. So I think, you know, this battle right here is going to, you know, show it, you know, and I think, you know, I'm just representing for the big guys in the league. Jalen, as a cornerback and a smaller frame guy compared to Devon, do you feel like this is an advantage for you, considering there's a huge stigma that big dudes can't dress, or do you think sneakers just talk for themselves? I grew up, you know what I'm saying, knowing a lot, a lot of bigger dudes who, you know, we always call them. They got swag, you know, like big sexy and everything like that. And you already see my man Gotcha, he got the he got the nice custom hat on, you feel me? He already set the tone from the start that started uh, the show. I'm not mad at that. Devon got the cheetah. Is that cheetah? Cheetah Fedora right there? Yes, sir. Gentlemen, the rules are simple. This is a five round bout. Each round will tackle a different category. Both battlers will show off their shoes at the same time from the count of three. And with that said, let us begin. Round one, show off your best Air Force One. In three, two, one, show. Ah, okay, Devon, go ahead. I mean, these used to be like, these stand out with the snakeskin on the G-Night symbol. I mean, these are classic. I mean, I can wear these, you know. And a little flea market, you know what I'm saying? Something light. You can throw these on with the suit. You can throw these on with some jeans. You can go to, you know, swim party with some shorts. You no, know, they, you know, you know, they gonna speak for themselves, man. Say flea on me, dude. All right, Jose, talk to me. All right, Jan, I'll start with you. That cactus plant flea market is looking like it's going for around 800 on average. Javon, for those ivory snake skins, we're looking at around 300 on average. You know, I think a sneaker that everybody slept on. I see it here and there, and it's one that I wish I definitely got. But obviously, a clean, clean sneaker. You know, it definitely goes with the animal print you got on the upper lid right there. So, might be, yeah, we got it going right now with the safari style. All right, gentlemen, moving on to round two. Round two, show off your best luxury designer sneaker. In three, two, one, show. Oh. Yeah, you get this uh, patent leather with the, with the grown, I mean, with the gold touch, you know, uh, Louis V boots. I'm out here in Philadelphia, you know, so the snow comes, you get a little bad weather. You can throw these on the rain, snow, sleet, hell, you know, you see, yeah, you, you, you see it. Kim Jones Dior Clipper. So what is that again? It's a clear Dior boot? It's Dior boot, yeah. How would you get a fit off in that? Like how? You can't even see that, man. I ain't gonna tell you my sauce, man. I'm just gonna just <laughs> <laughs> nah. The dog green one. Same style. We got the Dior chucks. We have the Dior newspaper one. That's for real Chanel's very limited. Mm -hmm. I got like all of these right here. These, I got like six of these. The uh, Virgil Louis V's. Limited. We also have one of my favorite shoes. I don't care how dirty this shoe get. It's comfortable like a sock. Always wear it. Rick Owens. Okay. Just because I seen guys I like this hat, I, I wanted to give him something he could throw on where he's fit. He got on right now. These are uh, Versace. This is real, this is real furry now. 
<laughs> These are Versace, you know, the new, the new, the new race runners, you know, just from here. Up main Spain. Then I, I just some more real fur. <laughs> a little cheetah print, just in case he, he thought it was too light. Uh, you know, these hey, are, I don't even need it, dog. Hey, I don't even need it. I got the advertising of the Queens with them. Okay, I was just, I was I just making show. I, I just, I just did it just for him, though. You did. Uh, All right, Jose, talk to me. All right, so Devon, let me start with you, man. Those Dior clear boots are going for around six fifty on average, but super hard to get. So I'm seeing some resale prices for around a thousand for those. Definitely a tough look, though. Jalen. So it's looking like 2200 on those for resale. Definitely a hard shoe to come across. Hard for me to find for both of these. Kudos to both of you guys. Round three, show off your best high top sneaker. We made this category super general, so we want to see some variety. In three, two, one, show. Ooh. Okay, Jalen, talk to me. What are you working with? No Converse, Chuck Tate, Ambush. You know, these are real the limited. You're not gonna see too many people with these on right here. Uh, you know, so you just gotta check them out. I'm going to go with the Travis. I mean, I'm not really a hot top. I mean, if you talk about Jordan Owens, I got that hot top, but that's like kind of, that's plain to me, that's basic. I mean, I wanted to bring something like, if you're a guy, I mean, I don't really wear them like an everyday shoe, but. Devon, I've been doing a little research and I know Jerry Lorenzo follows you on IG. Did he have anything to do with you procuring those three fear guys? I actually talked to him, man. I had a chance to talk to him in uh, California. We was out, and you know, we actually saw each other at a spot, and you know, we, you know, I ran into him, and I was like, man, I think you can make like more like big guys close, so I can like rock some of your stuff, you know. Like he was like, man, I got you, you know, like you know, they definitely like you know, comfortable sneakers to wear. They definitely, I can swag in them too. I can swag in them with shorts. You said break the internet, so these my customers. Oh, those hard. Yeah, you know what I'm saying those hard. These, these my customs. Uh, I have my clothing brand Moody set on there. Uh, yeah, man. Um, Green Goblin. That's you know, got the three checks on there. Uh, something Ground did them for me for a gift. Yeah, those are yeah, those are special. I like those. Okay. Those All right. Clearly, both of you guys went insane this round. Uh, Jose, can we get some prices? All right, Devon. I'll start with you. It's looking like that Travis high is going for around 1600 to 2000 on average. Obviously a great sneaker to have in your collection. And then that LA to Chicago Jordan 1, that's looking like 600 on average. Obviously one that I wish I collected from somebody in this room who tried to sell it to me, I slept on, but you know, what can you do? And then Jalen, that Ambush collab Congress high is going for around 600 on average. Definitely a great come up from the average 160 it retailed for, so good pick. Round four, show off your best sneaker and cleat to wear to the game. In three, two, one, show. Ooh, I see, okay. Just some custom, you know, uh, green goblin cleats. I got a guy who makes them out here for me. You know, we green for the Delta, so these definitely prime time peaks. You know, got the, got the, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, my my guy, you know, JG, you, you feel me with the, with the cuts, so you can wear these with a suit, you wear these, you know what I'm saying, home games. You know, they, you know, just give, give a little swag. Okay, I got my uh, custom, you know, try to own cleats in every game, you know, I try to, Symbolize some aqua and orange, of course, the Miami Dolphins. You know, got my foundation, some things we, you know, tackle, you know, childhood obesity, you know, got uh child down foundation. Right there, you know, youth and education and mentorship, you know, we got that on there as well. You know, my guy, you know, souls by souls by Cleeks in Miami, you know, he was able to hook me up. Every game he always hooks me up with the five, six, my number right there. And I also got the uh the Virgils. You know, these these probably my favorite crowd of all of them. I told you I got like five of these probably my favorite. You know, you got the, you know, like to me, like that orange right there stand out, you know, and you have like the, the, the cream color with the Louis V and gold right here, you know. So, I mean, these probably my, these hard, these probably my favorite, you know, and they very comfortable shoes, so I know self explanatory, so, you know. All right, Jose, talk to me. Guys, this is a priceless section of the show. There is no price I can put on these. Somebody's making you the cleats. If they put them together for you, there's no value that I can put on that, so. Kudos to both of you guys for bringing out some customs. 
Alright. Gentlemen, let's move on to the final round, round five. This round is called Battler's Choice. Whatever heat you want to show off against your opponent, now is the time to do so. In three, two, one, show. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with D. I know you don't have D. What's special about that that true blue three right there? Nothing special about that. The true blue threes? Yeah, oh, th those are the, oh, okay. So it's just a true blue three. It's not a sample or nothing like that. Nah, nah, this not it, man. Let me see the bottom of that. Let me see the bottom. How could you ever disrespect a, a, a real sneaker here, bro? Let me see, pull it out. Uh, how could you ever disrespect a real sneaker Okay, okay, okay bro. Disrespect <laughs> a real sneaker here, bro. We got, we got more. You want to pull out dunks? You want to pull out dunks? I see you pull out the purple dunk. I'm about to go down crazy on you right now. Not, not yeah. even the Hey, I'm about to go down crazy on you. Now you messed up. I'm about to go crazy on you. Now you messed up. You're a big guy. I know you like, like ice cream. I don't even, I don't even like those. Don't I, know, I know you like ice cream. You're a big guy. I know, you, I know you like ice cream. Those what? I know. Whoa. I know you like ice cream. What you going to with that? What you going to swear with that? Man, don't think. Uh, boy, get it off the camera. Get that off the screen. Don't think. Uh, get it off the screen, boy. That's a disgrace. I have won this challenge. That's a disgrace. I, and I, I know him got deep. All white cream three. He talking about, I know him got deep. I know him, look, look, he searching, he searching. He got me, he got me. I, I'm, I'm in my room, I'm in my room. You feel me? Nobody over there. Dude, that's up there, come on now. I'm in my room now. Yeah, you go with that one time. You go with a black green thing one time. That's, that's the only, that's the point. <laughs> All right, I feel like I'm all over the place for this round, but we're gonna let it rock. So I'm just gonna swing it over to Jose. Jose, how can you salvage this round? That plum dunk low is looking like it's going for around 400 on average. Nice thing to have in the collection as well. You know, I think a lot of people slept on that and it's looking like they're regretting it because I see a lot of people trying to get that shoot now. And then Jalen, that one's looking like it's going for around 400 on average. Obviously a great pick, that 2016 pair. Well, that concludes another episode of Sneaker Battle. Thank you to Jalen and Devon for stopping by. Incredible interaction, a lot of spicy talk. We going back and forth, but we're gonna leave it up to the viewers to decide who won this battle. But before we get out of here, I'm gonna swing it over to you two gentlemen. What do you guys have going on? What can we expect this upcoming season? Like I said, I definitely, you know, I am the, the best dressed big man in the NFL. I'm gonna tell you why I'm the best dress. I'm not even gonna talk about it, I'm gonna tell you why. But look at my IG. I'm versatile. <laughs> like the best player in the game, he gotta be versatile. I'm versatile. I can go athletic wear, I can go street wear, and I can go casual wear. I don't need to wear 30 chains. I'm gonna wear a nice timepiece on my wrist. I don't need to wear all the chains. I, I'm good on that. I'm every once in a while I do that, but I mean, I, I feel like guys who wear that a lot, I mean, that, they think that's okay. That's gonna bring my swag up. Man, if you got swag, you got swag. And you don't have to have designer clothes to have swag. No style, you know what I'm saying? The style free, you feel me? It's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's, we call it freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, style. Style, but I'm telling you, I ain't got no styles, I promise. Yeah, the, the style not free, we call it freestyle. If you got a style, that you can't really call yourself this yeah. dress. You can't really call yourself that. Oh, my son, I ain't got no styles. Everybody be like, who you style is? I'm like, nah, dude, it's myself. It's my mirror. Jose, what should the viewers do? Do not vote on the prices, vote on the pairs. Thank you guys for being on the show. Stay healthy and please be safe. We need sports back for all the people like myself, you know, moving on for this year 2020. So thank you guys for being on again. Yes, so, sir. Yeah. Leave in the comments below who won this battle and we'll see you on the next episode. Peace.